Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for radiology, part 1. So in radiology, we will be focusing on following topics. Diagnostic radiology, diagnostic ultrasound, radiologic guidance, mammogram, bone or joint studies, radiation oncology, hypothermia, brachytherapy and nuclear medicine. So before assigning any radiology CPT, we must take into consideration two points. The first is anatomical region or the body region. And secondly, if any bone is involved, the name of the bone. Next point is the type of technique performed. So based on these two, we must assign the code. Now coming to diagnostic radiology. The diagnostic radiology is broadly categorized into four types. The first one is radiological examination, which are nothing but X-rays. Next is computed tomography or CT. Next is magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. And finally, magnetic resonance angiography, MRA. So whenever we code X-rays, the first point that must be taken into consideration is views, number of views. Before assigning a CPT for X-rays, we must consider number of views. And before assigning a specified CPT for CT or MRI or MRA, we must look whether it is with contrast or without contrast or without contrast followed by contrast. For assigning CT or MRI or MRA, we must consider whether a contrast dye is administered or not. Now coming to radi radiologic examination or X-rays. The CPT assignment are based on number of views. As we have discussed earlier, for assigning appropriate CPT to X-rays, we must look for number of views so anterior view is considered as one view and posterior is considered as one view lateral is considered as one view antero posterior the term antero posterior or ap is also considered as one view and similarly posterior anterior pa is considered as one view whereas here if in a particular case study or scenario they mention anterior and posterior here we must take into consideration two views so based on the number of views appropriate cpts are assigned let us look an example a patient arrives at the urgent care facility with a swollen ankle antero posterior and lateral views here two views are taken into consideration antero posterior one view for antero posterior and one view for lateral of the ankle are taken to determine whether patient has fractured ankle what cpt are reported the answer is 73600 radiologic examination ankle two views because here two views are taken antero posterior and lateral views so similarly for assignment of ct or cta or mri or mra cpt assignment is based on with contrast without contrast or without followed by contrast the phrase with contrast used in the course for procedure performed using contrast for imaging enhancement represents a contrast material administered with contrast indicates that a contrast material is administered either intravenously or intraarticularly or intrathecally so for assigning appropriate cpt for ct cta MRI or MRA, we must take into consideration whether it is with contrast or without contrast or without followed by contrast. Here contrast is nothing but a dye material which is used for imaging enhancement.
and that dye material is either administered intravenously or intrathecally or intraarticularly so when the contrast is administered when it is administered orally or through rectum by default we must consider it as without contrast so whenever the contrast is administered through injection of intravascular when the contrast is administered through injection by default we must coat with contrast coat the contrast is administered either orally or through rectum by default we need to coat without contrast whereas if the contrast is administered through injection we must coat with contrast this is a ground rule now coming to the next topic mammography so while assigning an appropriate coat for mammography we have to take into consideration two points first point is laterality and the second point is reason for visit so based on laterality there is different coat for unilateral and different coat for bilateral and based on the reason for visit if patient comes for screening as in case of preventive exam or annual medical checkups we have by default bilateral coat for screening for screening mammography by default there is bilateral coat there is no unilateral coat for screening mammography if it is diagnostic then again based on laterality it is either considered as unilateral or bilateral there is different coat for unilateral and different coat for bilateral so based on the reason for visit whether the patient comes for screening then you have to assign appropriate default bilateral screening coat if the reason for visit is diagnostic that is a patient has a medical necessity for performing mammography then you must assign whether it is unilateral or bilateral so before coding mammogram or mammography you have to take into consideration the laterality and the reason for visit now here you can see mammography is divided into mri magnetic resonance imaging digital breast tomosynthesis digital breast tomosynthesis is nothing but a 2d technique next is diagnostic mammography and finally screening mammography for mri as discussed earlier we have without contrast and without followed by with contrast two codes are there so again it is divided into unilateral and bilateral for mri without contrast unilateral you need to assign 77046 and for mri without contrast bilateral you have to assign the appropriate code 77047 and for mri without followed by with contrast for unilateral you need to assign 77048 and for bilateral you need to assign 77049 when it comes for digital breast tomosynthesis it is again categorized into diagnostic tomosynthesis and screening tomosynthesis for diagnostic tomosynthesis unilateral the code is 77061 and for diagnostic tomosynthesis bilateral the code is 77062 for screening tomosynthesis the code is plus 77063 the plus symbol indicates this code should not be coded alone this is an add on code so whenever there is screening tomosynthesis first you need to assign 77067 followed by 77063 because 77063 should not be coded alone next coming to diagnostic mammography 
Here, for unilateral diagnostic mammography, the code is 77065. And for bilateral diagnostic mammography, the code is 77066. And for screening mammography, there is only bilateral code that is 77067. Now, let us see an example. A non-Medicare patient reports for a bilateral screening mammography with CAD, Computer Aided Detection. What is the appropriate CPT? The answer is, here the patient reports for bilateral screening mammography. So, 77067. Screening mammography bilateral included computer aided detection when performed. Here CAD is also performed. Hence, included computer aided detection when performed. Coming to next question. A 40 year old female is scheduled for a routine screening baseline mammogram. What is the CPT and ICD-10 CM codes reported? The CPT code is 77067. Screening mammography bilateral included computer aided detection when never performed. So even computer aided detection is not performed also for screening mammogram. The code is 77067 and the ICD is Z12.31. That is nothing but Screening for mammogram. Now coming to the next topic that is hyperthermia. Hyperthermia technique is used to destroy malignant lesions. So whenever radiation therapy is given concurrently, it is listed separately. Hyperthermia is only used as adjunct to radiation therapy or chemotherapy. And it may be induced by variety of sources like microwave, ultrasound, low energy radio frequency conduction or by probe. Coming to physical planning and interstitial insertion of temperature sensors, use of external or interstitial heat generating sources are all included under hypothermia. The physics planning interstitial insertion of temperature sensors and use of external or interstitial heat generating sources need not be coded separately because they are included. Whereas the preliminary consultation is non, not included. Preliminary consultations are nothing but the ENM services. ENM services are not included along with hypothermia. So even radiation therapy is not included. So whenever given concurrently, it must be listed separately. Similarly, preliminary consultation services are also not included, so they must be coded separately. Whereas physical planning and interstitial insertion of temperature sensors, use of heat generating sources, they are all included. Now, the hypothermia technique is broadly categorized into external, interstitial probes, finally intracavitary hypothermia. So external is again categorized into two types based on the depth, superficial and deep. Superficial is nothing but heating to depth of 4 cm or less. And the appropriate code for superficial hypothermia is 77600. Whereas for deep hypothermia, the heating to a depth greater than 4 centimeters, the appropriate code is 77605. When it comes to interstitial probes, it is again categorized into two types based on number of probes used. If 5 or less applicators are used, the code is 77610. If more than 5 interstitial probes or applicators are used, the code is 77615. And for intracavitary probe, the code is 77620. These are the various CPT codes for hypothermia. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.